Hi. Since we can't get together for catechesis of the Good Shepherd right now, I thought you might like a video to help you pray at home. So if I'm not your catechist at school or church, I'm Mrs. Rundle, and I'm glad that you're here with us today. So you remember from catechesis that prayer is talking to and also listening to God. So it's important to have a place at home where you can pray as well a place where you can find some quiet. So I'd like to help you with some thoughts about making a prayer table at home. As you can see, I have my own prayer table here in the background, and I've got a plant, I've got my good shepherd, I've got my candle. So this is how you can make your prayer table for yourself in your own home. So talk to mom or dad or grandma or granddad and find a place that would be good that can be quiet. Maybe it's in your living room, Maybe it's your bedroom and look for a small table or even a box if you need one. So I have a small table right here in front of me today and I'm going to show you how I set up a prayer table. Let me change my camera here a little bit so you can see it. So I started with a cloth and of course I'm choosing purple because it's Lent. Lent is for preparation. Now, some of you might not have a purple cloth at home. You can always use a placemat. You might have one that's real simple, that's purple. Or maybe you just have a white one you wanna put down. Or you might even take just a piece of paper and you might create your own purple mat, purple placemat. So I think I'll leave that one there. And then you get to find some things to put on it. Of course, one of the most important things is to find a Bible. So ask mom or dad if they've got a Bible that you can use, that you can put on your prayer table. And I will just move mine here for today. Lay it right there. Then you'll probably want a candle. Remember that we always use a candle when we pray, remembering that Jesus is the light of the world. I have a candle like this, but you can also make a candle. I have a very simple one that you might wanna make. You can just take a paper towel holder, and cut it down, or a toilet paper holder and cover it with some white paper. And then I found some tissue paper that we had for wrapping. And so I put that there. Now you might also wanna add some flowers. It's a good time to go outside and see what you can find. So I have a little vase and I found this little flower today and it just happens to be purple. So it's perfect for my prayer table. Of course, it's nice to have the Good Shepherd as well. Now you might not have a statue of the Good Shepherd at home. So one thing that you can do is you can take the pricking materials that we have and I'm gonna send you a copy of this. So you can just put it on the carpet, on the floor. And I used a toothpick for it and it was really easy just to punch along my Good Shepherd. And of course, you know that once you've punched it, then you can just slowly kind of pull it apart. And then you can put it on some pretty paper on the back, you can color, and that can be your Good Shepherd for your prayer table. I also have a small bowl that I added. And so I went on a little walk outside and I was thinking about how beautiful all the creation is. And I was looking for special things to put in my little bowl. So I added some little pods. I also found a rock. And you can certainly decorate a rock. You can write whatever you want on it. You can use some markers to decorate it. Maybe you want to put a cross on it. Maybe you want to think about just a word that you want to add for Lent. You can also invite your family to add some prayers to put in your little bowl. You can have some little strips and maybe whatever they want to pray for could be put on it. I have one that just says family because that's who I want to pray for right now. So I'm going to put that right there in my little bowl. Later in the week when you have time, Maybe you'd like to make a prayer card. 
Do you remember we have lots of prayer cards in the atrium? One that I especially like is be still and know that I am God. So today we're gonna to take just a minute and we're gonna to pray together. I'm gonna to move my camera back up. And remember that when we're ready for prayer, it's important for us to quiet ourselves. So I'm gonna take a deep breath in through my nose and breathe out through my mouth. Today, I wanna to breathe in all of God's great love. So breathe in with me. I'm going to breathe through our nose. And I'm going to breathe out any anxiety, anything that I have inside that's distracting me from prayer. So I'll breathe out. And then I'll light my candle. Be still and know that I am God. Those are beautiful words. Do you remember the song? Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Thank you for praying with me, and I hope to see you again soon.